Sakai. All right, guys, what's up? It's Mike. Welcome back to Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Sushi, as I like to say. I'm going to stick with this outfit just because it is more of an offensive, and I think I'm okay with, um... I think I'm okay with doing my stealthy. Like, I, I don't need armor for stealth, although there may be a better suit of armor for it, but we'll, we'll figure that out. Sorry, I'm just getting comfy. Alright. So. We can go over here. Destroy shipyard. Yeah, there's still a lot of island land that I haven't discovered yet. So let's go over there. What the hell? Oh, yeah. Got that sucker. I got a mosquito. <laughs> Yo, bro. Okay, so I know in the last gameplay, right, um, that I uploaded, 18, part 18, I mentioned that there was a mosquito. I don't think that was the same one, but here where I'm at, it's been... Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. And I got that sucker too. What the fuck, dude? This is going to get irritating if I have to do this gameplay with mosquitoes chasing me. Okay, um, so obviously that wasn't the same one because there was two of them, but, uh, oh my god, dude, I think there's another one. I'm being attacked? Hold on, hold on, let me, let me figure this out. I don't know. I don't know. That's that's irritating though. Put some hand sanitizer on. After killing some mosquitoes. It's nasty. So the reason why there's mosquitoes, dude, is cause uh in my room is cause um it's been raining a lot here where I'm at. And uh I cut the yard today and and oh my god, dude, there was just fucking mosquitoes galore, dude. Just attacking, attacking, and attacking. And I could not, dude, for the life of me, get them away. Obviously, I put some mosquito spray on, right? But they were still they were still being really aggressive and trying to land on me and everything. I managed to cut the yard entirely, so hopefully um, they won't be in you know, in our yard, um, uh, as much as they were when the grass was tall, but, um, on top of that, the city came around as well and, and sprayed the neighborhoods because, because literally there's just been so many mosquitoes. Anyways, the reason there's mosquitoes in my room is of course, because I opened up the door, uh, outside to get in, to, into my room clearly, right? Uh, or into the house. And then of course they're just going throughout the house the ones that that did get in so we're kind of just killing the ones that are in the house anyways um hopefully i don't have to continue with that but that's kind of why i'm irritated they, i don't know what those two like i could feel them they were big ass mosquitoes too man there was one mosquito that, that got me good outside dude under on my elbow right below uh well yeah basically on my elbow and, dude, this sucker, like, when I hit it, that shit, just blood just came out. I'm like, dude, I I have no mercy for mosquitoes, man. No mercy. Fuck those dudes. I so, so if you guys just hear me uh, randomly slap myself or something, that's because I'm... I, I got a mosquito. I got the first two. I thought I felt a third one. So there may, may be a third one here. But I don't know yet. I'm 
glad I left the light on too. Looking for me? Oh, I'm regenerating health. Right, right. I forgot I have the... It's the thing, right, that I have on the... On my gear? Yeah, the charms. There you go. Charm of Resolve. Resol no, wait, where is it at? Slowly recover health while out of combat. Yep. We'll get this. Oh my god. I feel it's a mental thing now. I feel like the mosquitoes biting me everywhere, but they're not really biting me. I don't even know if there's a mosquito in here anymore. I'm just. That's a shield. Wait, what, what is what works against these guys? The brute? The. the sh The brutes with the shields, I guess the the brute brute stance still works. The moon stance. Ah, uh, you see, I feel like I. Feel, Help me. I'm coming. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I I got problems in the real world, sweetheart. There's, the fucking mosquitoes are all over the place. They said it was safe by the lake. But they were wrong. Mongols are camped under the stone arch wall. I didn't see them until it was too late. A good place to ambush travelers. But not for much longer. There are so many of them. Please be careful, my lord. Thank you. Alright. <laughs> Now, the one thing I think is good about me doing all this side stuff is that I will be able to fast travel anywhere that I need to go. There's a little deer running with me. Shit. Extra predator hide. Damage enemies with sticky bombs. Recover Sashino. Eliminate the war camp general. Sticky bombs. I don't have any sticky bombs. Release the Falcons. Messengers?
Ooh, one's one's clean fucking stab to the neck, and these guys are gone. Done. Oh, I oh I released one of the falcons. Nice. I love this upgrade, dude. It's a fucking clean assassination. You think I could... I want to do like a multi. I want to get both of them. It's not giving me a prompt. Wait, what? Good. No one heard. Oh, there's a falcon. Be free, bird! Yeah, it's all a mental thing now for me, man. I swear, I feel like, I keep feeling like somebody's, like something's landing on me. To the neck, to the neck. Ooh, done. Bro, look at this shit, dude. I'm fucking him up. Hold on, sorry. Just scratching my leg. Yeah, I think the only I think the only person left is Big Dog. The hell was that? I just heard something. No, 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 there's more people over here. Oh shit. This is just the beginning.
Yeah, there's more of them down there. All right. Oh, I don't get double the iron. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm slowly recovering health. That is so cool. That's very useful, actually. Probably gonna want to start from this way, actually. Right in your asshole. There's Big Dog. He's on the ship. This guy, can I climb up this ledge and then... Bro, there's no way. I don't like it that we can strike at the same time. Alright, hold on. Uh. 
one heavy ammo arrow. Alright, big dog. I believe it's not just you and me, because we still got these other guys to get. Oh, I collected the supplies from these guys. Alright. We did that. Oh, Mongo artifacts. Look at that. Black powder cannon. Uh, the, pro uh, the proliferation of gunpowder technology throughout Europe during the High Middle Ages has largely been due to the use of explosives and firearms by the Mongols as they push beyond Asia. Proliferation? I don't even know the meaning of the word. Let's look that up real quick. <clears throat> no, no, not Pornhub. Uh, proliferation... Definition. Uh, rapid increase in numbers. Rapid reproduction of a cell part. Or, okay, well, basically a large number of something. Okay. All right, so... D okay. Oh, wait, no, yeah. Okay. Gunpowder also played a major role in the Mongol conquest of China. One of the most notable su uh, such weapons used during the invasions of Japan is a small explosive bomb used to injure and panic the samurai's horses. <sighs> oh, you get rewards for recovering these banners. I didn't know that. Uh, well, conversations with the con five, part five. Ugh. Today was terrible. Kotun, Kotun burst into his quarters in a rage and shattered a rather exquisite table that came from a land called Kashimiru. Kashim Kashimiru. I write this casually now, but I was truly terrified and convinced death was at hand. These are people who drink horse blood after all. After some time I was able to claim I was able to calm Kotan down enough to tease out the source of his ire, Lord Shimura. Ref wait, Lord Shimura refused his offer of alliance. It's clear that Kutan Kutan does not regard Shimura, uh, Shimura's cooperation as crucial to his designs for the mainland, but he is not accustomed to being denied. Lord Shimura's spine must be made of katana steel to say no to this man. Alright, so he's pissed off that, that he's not getting Shimura's cooperation. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh. 
How many times have I said sorry in this gameplay? Well, there's no more edit. Destroy the black powder cache. Alright, so last time I tried finding this thing, I couldn't find it for shit. I don't know where it was at. It wasn't popping up. You think it's... It's gotta be off the boat, right? It's, on the... On, somewhere here. Where is it? Tell me now. Oh man, this is the part that I gotta... Is that it? Is this it? No, that's not it. See, it doesn't tell me where it's at. I just gotta go around and hope that I run into it. It's definitely not up here. You say destroy it, but you're not giving me an indicator as to where this thing's at. Maybe it was on the boat? It's like a big wagon, right? That's what it looks like? Unless, or unless they look different every time. I, I don't remember. Ah, look. Here we go. Jesus. Let's get out of here. You know, I don't think this was on the map when I last saw. The Hero of Tsushima. Max health increase, nice. Bro, I like this. 
Look at this. Look at that. He's just chilling. He's sleeping with the horse. New ghost weapon available. Open the menu to unlock. Oh, the wind chime. Guards will yes. investigate all the sounds. These chimes can be a distraction or a lure. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Throw a firecracker to draw multiple enemies to a location. This is very important. I will gradu I gradually. I will gladly take this. Um L2 equip firecrackers, L2, R2 to throw. Okay. Yeah, because this will help me um sneak into places easily. Let me, uh, where's my... Perform stone hands heavy attacks with ferocious speeds. Ferocious speed. I don't, I don't know, unless you're torn of four rapid strikes. Hold, then find and kill Mongol leaders to learn new stances. I think I already got all the stances. How do I learn these? How did I learn this one? Did it, was I only able to choose one? Complete mythic tales to learn powerful katana and bow techniques. Okay, maybe I... Okay. Mythic tales. I have to do those probably. Yeah. Alright. An evasive strike useful against slow moving enemies. Oh, I know. Okay. Charge into enemies while sprinting to knock them backwards. A delayed quick attack that inflicts... Okay, hold on. Where's my, um... Not stances, ghost weapons. Here we go. Four wind chimes. This is great. It's like, hey man, I caught you sleeping, bro. What are you doing? Lacking on the job. <laughs> I'm playing Nobu. Yeah, you're a good boy. Alright. So we got that done. There's something over here. Wait, is that the dude who, uh... I think those are the guys that take me to, um, the online... Yeah, that's an online thing. I didn't even get to say it. It looked like I actually attacked the woman. Uh, 
I didn't get to uh, save him. Wait, Nobu, hold on. Nobu, move! Such a cutie. <laughs> All right, I got a new slot. Wait, it's my wait. There we go. <sighs> Let's see. Do I? A charming man. Yes, of course. <laughs> Alright, where are we going next? Let's see. Looks like we haven't discovered this little area yet still. So maybe there's some things here. Is this a... No, this is... I don't know what this is. <laughs> Hold on. My neck. I guess we'll go somewhere here. I, I don't know. I just want to just I just want to uncover the area. That's pretty much what I want to do.
Secrets buried deep. Darkness grows and reaches out. Hidden from all sight. Headband of fear. I wonder what these things do for me besides they're just cosmetics, right? I'm assuming. Alright, um Yeah, yeah, so I'm discovering things here. Like trees? Snow? No. This area is, uh... Hmm. Alright, well, I would like to do... One of the stories here. Klein Adachi was betrayed by a conspiracy. Lady Masako lives only to destroy those responsible for her family. Her family's slaughter. Anyone who dares prey on a samurai family must be brought to justice. So I have agreed to join her hunt. <sighs> All right, this guy's looking for his his um, his student, I believe. And then this guy, well, this guy's chilling. <laughs> this guy's all right. Active tails, one of three. Speak with Kenji. Minor range charm. Okay, so I'm getting more charms here. Nice. Um. Where's that at? Is there fast travel? Yeah, fast travel there. I should see if Yuna has any news. My lord, let me tell you a story of demons and the ghosts who fought them. Maybe at some point, man, but uh, not right now. I got something to do here. This way? What's up, Nobu? Oh god, dude, that would be scary to see that shit. Bodies fucking... Ugh. Impaled like that, dude. Susano, protect me. Dead bodies. Who killed these people? A fearsome warrior. He demanded I tell him the tale of Shigenori's heavenly strike. When he didn't hear the answers he sought, he flew into a rage and butchered them. What did he want to know? I am not sure, my lord. 
Tell me the story. I need to know what he's after. When Tsushima was first settled, a strange and terrible thunderstorm swept across our island. Wherever lightning struck, beasts of lightning appeared. These violent creatures tore through villages, causing death and destruction, moving too quickly to be stopped. The people knew only one man who could possibly stand against the lightning beasts, Shigenori. The fastest swordsman in all of Tsushima, Shigenori, never lost a duel. With years of practice, he had created the Heavenly Strike, an attack that struck quicker than the eye could follow. Shigenori lured the creatures to a desolate beach in Komatsu, where the sand would slow their movement. Their clash turned the sand to ash, and bleached the leaves of trees white. Shigenori's heavenly strike cut through them faster than they could move. As the final beast fell, the storm cleared, and Tsushima was safe again. Shigenori began a life of seclusion. Few students found him, and only the bravest and most skilled proved worthy of learning the heavenly strike. When a storm approaches, a sword is placed at Shigenori's rest by a student who knows of its location to ward off attacks from beasts of nature. The murderer wishes to learn Shigenori's heavenly strike. It sounds dangerous in the wrong hands. Which way did he go? A woman fled toward a nearby bridge. He chased her. He'll answer for what he did here. Yeah, this thing sounds badass. The Heavenly Strike. <clears throat> I'm liking the sound of this. I could use this. Somewhere this way? Yeah, there's the bridge. That's the bridge the musician mentioned. Someone weeping. Where? My lord, so many. What's slaughtered. Wrong? Hey, 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 talk to me. Did you see the man who killed them? I know who he is. Yasuhira Koga. I've heard the name. He fought for the Yarikoa clan. Would you recognize him? I'll never forget that leering face. Follow me. Perhaps I can pick up his trail on the other side of the bridge. Horse tracks. Yasuhira was in a hurry. What more do you know of Yasuhira Koga? Only that he was a retainer for the Yarikawa clan years ago. After the rebellion was crushed, the clan was dissolved and retainers dismissed. Rumor says he left Tsushima, but when the Mongols attacked, he returned. From where, I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. He cannot be allowed to live after what he's done. These tracks. It's weird how the tracks go away and then they come back and they go away and they come back. Are the tracks really gone? You see, like, those are obvious tracks. But then they go missing. And then they come back. Up ahead, they're constructing a roadblock. Mongols, hide yourself.
Is that some... Yeah, that's an enemy. Okay. I couldn't see at first because the fog was covering him. Oh, no. Here, Koga anywhere. I don't I will hopefully find him. Pursuing a man named Yasuhira Koga. He just left. He's been staying in the watchtower. Working with the Mongols? Yes. But last night they argued. Only made out one word. Chigenori. I'll search the watchtower. Find somewhere safe before more Mongols come. Ah, damn, I'm stretching out my neck. What has Yasuhira been doing? The Mongols have their own version of Shigenori's tale. Maybe he wanted to compare it to the musician's version. White leaves, like those bleached by lightning in the tale. The dueling ring. He's looking for it. Yasuhira is looking for someone who can teach him Shigenori's heavenly strike. The white leaves. There are trees like that not far from here. That's where he went. You've helped enough. Get to safety with the others. Thank you, my lord. I hope you punish that monster. Funny enough, I actually visited that area with white leaves. You find white-leafed trees. We, we were there just a little while ago. Come on, Nova. Is it up here?
No, 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 no. It was this area, like, over here. Shit. White trees. I hope this isn't leading me to like. Oh, it's in that area. I'm going. <sighs> it's because I had seen white trees in somewhere else. So I'm in the right area. It's just it's somewhere around here. White trees. from here. There's a few y'all. Uh...
Who's that last guy out there? Some random. Oh. Who are you? Was a man named Yasuhira with these Mongols. Mm. He wanted to learn the heavenly strike from my grandfather and took him away. Your grandfather's in danger. Where did they go? His old training ground. A dueling ring on the Komatsu coast. Please, save him. All right, that's that's pretty straightforward. I like this. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a battle. <laughs> Travel to Shigenori's rest. Sorry. Noble, you beautiful horse, come no. here. So here I cannot learn the heavenly strike. Oh shit, that lightning. I've never seen this is getting intense. You see the lightning, dude? That's scary. Man, Mother Nature is nothing to. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Did one just land right by me? Let's go, Noble. I don't know, Ben, but that kind of looks like it right there. Someone got that tree down in order to cross. So he brought Mongols with him. Must be Shigenori's dueling ring. What has Yasuhira been doing? Poor man, killed by Yasuhira. Blade has seen many duels. Footprints. Still fresh. 
Yasuhira Kugo, the butcher of the rebellion. Time hasn't changed you. You were a child when Yorikawa burned, boy. For 15 years, I dreamed of cutting Lord Shimura to the bone. You won't live long enough to face him. The old man taught me the legendary attack before I killed him. Let me show you. Dude, it actually hits the ground. Holy shit, the lightning. This game is so goddamn gorgeous, dude. What are you waiting for, boy? Not waiting. Study. Learning. Save you. The lightning got him, dude. Let's give this man a proper burial, man. You deserve greater respect than this. I promise I'll use Shigenori's technique to protect Tsushima against all who would harm it. I feel like this game... I don't know. Maybe... like. So I was watching a streamer one time. That I don't talk to this person anymore. But they played this game on the hardest difficulty possible. And they were struggling. And I feel like the reason they were struggling... Uh, help the Heavenly Falcon strike without warning like the Hunter of the Skies. I feel like they were struggling because they didn't do side stuff. They were probably doing like main missions and, and they came to a boss that they were really struggling with. Um, but so far I personally haven't had any issues with this game. Like fighting the bosses yet. Maybe I just haven't met like the ultimate, like one of the hardest bosses yet. But... Um, this is still on lethal mode. I haven't changed it. <laughs> Death is always close at hand. A single strike, a single sword strike is lethal. I've also always found a thing. <sighs> like I like the fact that people give proper burials to 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 respect, you know, um, the dead. And I don't know what it is. I just I like that. I like it when somebody goes out of their way. To give somebody a burial, it's just like it's. It's if it, it feels like the world is so cold that we don't have anything like that anymore nowadays. Because, you know, killing is just. It's savagery. Savagery. It's just savage, dude. It's just people, kill to kill, and that's it. And it's it's so sickening how how, this is the real world, that you know I live in and we live in whoever's watching this you know it's just i don't know but um yeah man i'm gonna go ahead and end the gameplay 
And then we will continue from this point on on the next one. I uh, don't know exactly what we're going to do. Well, I want to discover more of this, these open areas. That's the part that's bothering me. Is that there's areas that are not like discovered yet. And I'm just like, bro, I feel like the completionist inside of me is coming out. And I must... And I must uh, finish it, you know. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I go about this. I know this is where Shimura is at. Oh, 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 oh! I got a new skill point. What is this? Oh, the Heavenly Strike! A quick, unblockable attack that inflicts extra damage against staggered enemies. Circle and triangle uses one resolve. Okay. Gotcha. Uses three resolve. Alright, well, I wanted to increase this. I don't know what these are yet, but we'll we'll uh, we'll figure it out. Um, and yeah, I feel like this is also the reason why I've been, you know, going through this game a little bit easily, more easier than than what the streamer was because I've been unlocking all the side stuff. I've been you know getting skill points, applying them to my skills, my weapons. I don't know. I got a lot of good shit here so far, and I'm happy with it. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm done. So. Where are you looking? He's looking to the left or to the right. Like there's something over there. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I'm gone, guys. Thank you for watching. If you did make it through the end of the video, I really do appreciate it. As I was saying on the last video, um, I'm not going to get discouraged if nobody watches these videos. I will continue playing video games and uploading it because it's just what I do. I personally love to make memories, even if it's just playing campaign games by myself. I like to, to go back. or I would like to have the opportunity to go back and watch my gameplays and see how I reacted to certain things for the first time ever. Like, um, there was a game, Subnautica, one of my all-time favorite games, that I wish I could have seen my reaction to certain things. Um... But I didn't record it. I had streamed it like two years ago. And uh, yeah, that was that. Those memories are gone. But Ghost of Tsushima, man, it's an amazing game. I like this whole lightning thing that was happening. That was pretty badass and epic. But uh, yeah, I'll, back to back to what I was saying. So yeah, I appreciate it, man. I'm not going to get discouraged if nobody watches my video. If somebody watches my video for like 20 seconds. Which sometimes my videos start off a little bit late because I'm like getting everything ready so you don't hear me but and then I'll meet myself like 20 seconds into the video or some shit but it does bring a smile to my face when I see that somebody has been watching for longer than uh, a minute to two minutes and you just see that number going up and I'm just it, it makes me feel happy so um, yeah I'm done sorry for the jibber jabber I'll see y'all for the next one and as always you guys take care all right laters